but with Daikin Inverter plus VVR technology giving significant efficiency advantage, the additional cost of inverter air cool chiller over fixed speed is recouped within less than two years of for most applications. Ciao. Welcome to our third episode of Applied Talks. Today we're going to take a step back, back to our very first episode of Applied Talks, and that discussion with Mr. Fabio Elidorari. As you may recall, the first Applied Talks episode introduced Daikin's refrigerant-cooled compressor inverter technology. I'm sure you remember just how impressive that technology is, and how it will have a positive impact in the application of Daikin chilled water systems. If you happen to miss that first episode, you can find it on the Daikin Applied Europe YouTube channel. Since that first broadcast, we have received some very positive feedback and some very interesting questions. In today's Applied Talk, we will continue the inverter discussion from a bit of a customer perspective and the application of Daikin chilled water systems for the most efficient operation that will incorporate Daikin's industry-leading innovation and technology. I would now like to introduce today's guest, Mr. Paras Advaryu. Paras is currently serving as Daikin's General Manager of Applied Business in the Middle East and Africa, operating out of Dubai. Paras has over 20 years of experience in the HVAC industry and joins us today because he has a great deal of experience with inverter technology compressors in air-cooled applications. Since a significant percentage of Daikin Middle East and Africa sales involve inverter screw compressor technology, he brings a very unique and comprehensive perspective. Welcome again, Paras. Uh, thank you. I'm really pleased to be a part of Applied Talks Edition 3. For sure, and it is so great to have you. So let's get into today's questions. Can you tell us about your experience with inverter technology and how do you think it differentiates us from our competitors? Uh, sure. Throughout my career, I have been a vocal proponent of inverter technology in HVAC industry. My experience has been quite positive with this technology only when applied judiciously. In HVAC, inverter technology will give maximum benefit when the advantage is taken of not only load but also lift variations. Therefore, centrifugal compressors adopted this technology quite faster but the adoption of inverter technology was quite slow in screw compressors as traditional screw compressors have a fixed volume ratio, which does not allow it to take advantage of lift variations. There are fixed volume ratio compressors with inverter, but taking only advantage of load and not lift variations. That would be an incorrect application of inverter. Daikin focused on extracting maximum advantage of inverter technology in screw introduced the first commercial screw compressors with inverter plus variable volume ratio technology. Also, first time in the history of Middle East HVAC, a global organization like Daikin has designed an air cool chiller specifically taking Middle East sensibilities and design specials into consideration in product development. Few examples of Middle East specific features in Daikin inverter air cool Chillers are refrigerant cool inverters directly mounted on the compressors. This ensures a hermetic environment to inverter component and protects the inverter from harsh ambient temperatures and dusty conditions of Middle East. The inverter casing, besides designed for protection against dust and water, is also UV resistant. High static fans to minimize recirculation, 9 degree delta T special evaporator design with actual capacity at 46 degree centigrade for variable primary flow applications, various condenser coating options for corrosive environment, and last but not the least, electrical design considering the duration at high ambient temperatures. Along with high efficiency, these features give very high reliability in challenging Middle East conditions. We are the first choice of inverter air cooled screw chillers in Middle East HVAC market. In fact, our air cooled chiller market share has doubled in past three years since introduction of inverter plus VVR technology chillers. 
Wow, that is great. Um, it seems there's a great appreciation in the Middle East and Africa market for the Daikin inverter screw compressor with that BVR technology. As the general manager for the applied business for Middle East and Africa, you certainly have a familiarity with HVAC projects in that region. Can you tell us how the Daikin technology meets the needs of this specific market? For example, efficiency, regulations, the need for future-proof technology, all of that from a customer perspective. And can you tell us what are the main applications in which you see this technology being used? Uh, sure. A Middle East market is a region comprising of over 15 countries, all of which have different energy efficiency and import regulations. In Daikin Middle East, we have a regulatory affairs team, which coordinates with different regulatory bodies in the region and relays the requirements to factory product development teams to ensure that the product development follows local regulations. This process was also duly followed for the development of inverter air cool chillers, thereby ensuring compliances to local regulations. We not only meet, but exceed efficiency regulations like ESMA and Dubai Green Building regulations in Dubai, Estidama in Abu Dhabi, SASO in Saudi, MEW in Kuwait, and so on. Inverter air cool chillers are now in demand not only in new projects, but also in replacement market. Customers in the new projects are opting for high efficiency equipment in order to offset the impact of increasing electricity tariffs. There is also a growth in replacement market due to aging of equipment as well as drive to increase energy efficiency coinciding with popularity of ESCO business models. Speaking of efficiency and reliability, uh, let's talk about life cycle costing. Can you tell us what it is and what role inverter technology plays when comparing design alternatives for an HVAC project? Uh, definitely. In the past, uh, due to unavailability of refrigerant cool inverter, air cooled inverter or glycol cool inverter reduced the reliability of this technology and chiller as a whole, and the risks of failures did not encourage owners to adopt inverter technology. The efficiency advantage was also limited due to absence of VVR compressor technology. The adoption rate was less than 15%. A refrigerant cool inverter plus VVR technology by Daikin has increased both efficiency and reliability, which has automatically reduced life cycle costs for the technology by increasing energy savings and reducing maintenance costs. This is also the case with 100% of ESCO and replacement projects and over 30% on new projects. Hmm. So, can you share your experience with return on investment as it relates to inverters and efficiency? And maybe tell us about some different projects you've worked on. Uh, definitely. Uh, the, the first cost of inverter chillers is high compared to a fixed pit chiller, that's a fact. However, in the total life cycle cost of chillers, the contribution of operating cost far outweighs the capex. The electricity tariff are constantly increasing in the region. Hence, owners who are footing the electricity bills are ready to invest in inverter air cool chillers to reduce their operating cost. Earlier versions of inverter chillers without VVR did not offer any significant efficiency advantage over fixed speed and could not justify the additional investment. But with Daikin Inverter plus VVR technology giving significant efficiency advantage, the additional cost of inverter air cool chiller over fixed speed is recouped within less than two years of for most applications. In Middle East, the electricity tariffs also vary between countries and hence Daikin has introduced three different efficiency versions, silver, gold and platinum to support the customer select the best efficiency suiting his ROI requirement. Let me give you some examples. We executed an ESCO project last year in Dubai where we replaced 15 reciprocating air cool chillers with gold efficiency in water chillers. Whereas in Saudi Arabia, a mall owner for his new mall wanted to future proof his project against increased electricity tariffs in future and opted for three platinum inverter air cool chillers. Recently, we also executed a replacement project for an owner where the existing chillers had not aged, but the owner wanted to reduce his operating cost now 
and went in for five numbers platinum inverter air cool chillers. Our largest market segment for air cool inverter chillers continues to be ESCO and replacement projects. Pros, that is fantastic. Um, that wraps up our time for today, and I want to thank you for all that you've contributed. Your expertise and experience is so valuable, and I'm really happy you are part of the Daikin team. Your experience in the Middle East regions with its harsh environment is such a proving ground for the Daikin chillers. Thank you again. And thanks to our team in Italy who put in the hours to make this episode possible. It is their inspiration that brings this content to the world. And last but certainly not least, thanks to our viewers for tuning in. We hope you enjoy the content. From all of us at Daikin Applied Europe, stay safe and stay healthy. Thank you.